Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Crossing the Chasm, a creation by Jeffrey A. Moore. In the book, Crossing the Chasm, published in 1991, the author explores the challenges that innovative products face in the market, focusing on the significant gap between early adopters and the mainstream market. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Jeffrey A. Moore, a renowned author, consultant, and venture partner, has written several best-selling books, including Inside the Tornado, The Gorilla Game, and Living on the Fault Line. Crossing the Chasm draws upon his experience as a high-technology consultant in Silicon Valley. Initially, both the author and publisher anticipated that the book would only appeal to a small specific audience, resulting in roughly 5,000 copies sold. However, to their surprise, it became an immense success, selling over 300,000 copies. With nine key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, technological innovations are adopted in stages by different groups. In the process of adopting new technology, there are several groups that emerge. First are the technology enthusiasts who want the latest technology regardless of any issues. Then come the visionaries who are interested in the competitive advantage it offers. The mainstream market follows, with pragmatists who seek incremental benefits and conservatives who want simple, low-cost products. Lastly, there are skeptics who provide valuable feedback on product failures. Key idea number one. The lack of alignment between visionaries and pragmatists can lead to product failures and company demise. The technology adoption life cycle presents a challenge for disruptive innovations as they face a significant gap between early and mainstream markets. The motivations of early adopters and pragmatists are different, making it difficult to use customer references for selling to the mainstream market. Pragmatists require established vendors and references, but without them, a company cannot become established. This gap, known as the chasm, can lead to a decline in sales and value for the company. To avoid this, companies must have a plan to successfully cross the chasm when launching an innovative product. Key idea number two, to achieve mainstream market success, it is important to consider your customers' needs and provide a comprehensive solution through a whole product. Mainstream customers only want products that satisfy all their buying objectives, known as whole products. Pragmatists, in particular, prefer products like Microsoft's that have a wide range of supporting products and services available. Whole products are crucial for successfully reaching the mainstream market and becoming a market leader. Some components of the whole product may fall outside the company's core competence, requiring partnerships to address those needs. These partnerships should solely focus on developing and marketing a whole product for a specific customer segment. An example is a company selling aggregated data on pharmaceutical research, which would need to partner with multiple data providers to meet customer demands. Key idea number three. To successfully cross the chasm, it is important to establish a strong presence in a specific niche before expanding to a wider market. To enter the mainstream market successfully, it is important to target a specific market niche and become the leader within that niche. This niche acts as a base from which you can expand into other segments and eventually dominate the entire market. It is crucial to stay focused and not sell outside the niche, as this can dilute your position and exhaust resources. A smaller niche allows for easier domination and positive word-of-mouth references. Operating within a niche also allows for the development of a standard product that meets the preferences of pragmatist customers. Key idea number four. When starting a business or selecting a niche, it is essential to identify the most appealing customer segment. This involves finding a group of customers who have a strong need or desire for your product or service. By focusing on this segment, you can attract and serve customers more effectively, increasing the chances of success in your chosen market. 
Choosing the right target niche requires informed intuition rather than analytical reasoning. Target customer characterization helps in this decision-making process by developing scenarios in which the product could be used by customers. The goal is to find the customer segment with the most compelling reason to buy the product. It is important to address a dire problem within the niche and be able to provide a whole product within three months. Additionally, consider the existing competition in the niche. Hesitation often leads to failure. Key idea number five. To position your product effectively, use a strong claim to establish market leadership in the minds of customers. The positioning of a product is crucial to a customer's buying decision. Different customer groups value different aspects of a product. As a newcomer, you can define your competition by giving customers two existing competitors as reference points. This allows you to claim market leadership in a new niche. For example, Silicon Graphics can position itself as a digital film editing tool that offers more capabilities than traditional methods and more tools than Sun workstations. Key idea number six. In order to effectively reach pragmatist customers, it is important to identify a distribution channel that aligns with their preferences and motivations. Once this channel is identified, it is crucial to provide incentives and encouragement to motivate the channel to actively sell products or services. When entering a new market, it is important to select the right distribution channels and pricing strategy. Direct sales is often the best approach for reaching pragmatist customers and creating demand. Once you establish market leadership, you can transition to other channels. In terms of pricing, offering distributors a higher commission initially can incentivize them to sell your product. Pricing your product as a market leader will also appeal to pragmatist customers. Key idea number seven. Crossing the chasm is a difficult task in consumer markets, even more so than in business markets. Crossing the chasm in consumer markets is difficult due to limited resources and consumers' lack of compelling reasons to buy. Unlike businesses, consumers are quick to move on to the next trend. Visionaries are rare and there is no strong incentive for consumers to adopt new products. The example of Quicken shows how positioning a product as a combination of new technology and old methods can help to successfully cross the chasm. Key idea number eight. To overcome post-chasm challenges, a company needs to focus on two key areas, ensuring profitability and realigning the organization. After coming out of the chasm, companies face various challenges and commitments from their pre-chasm organization. Key actions to successfully move forward include focusing on profitability and making organizational changes. The company needs to transition from a focus on growth to a focus on profitability avoiding a welfare mentality. Organizational changes involve replacing the pioneers who fueled growth with settlers who can manage and standardize procedures. Disputes may arise over compensation and sales bonuses for different markets. Additionally, new temporary roles must be created for target market segmentation and product management. In conclusion, high-tech products need to cross the gap between early adopters and mainstream markets. They must find a niche and become the market leader to achieve mainstream success. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.